Listen to what's Injil according to Quran. Many Christians use the name of Injil to justify the Gospels or the Bible. But until now, no Christian can describe Injil according to Islam, according to Quran, and according to the Hadith. Shall I tell now? Would you accept it? Okay. So now, wait, 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 let me speak, let me speak, let me speak, okay, Christians, I want to teach them what Injil is according to Quran, Injil according to Quran was mentioned in Injil, that book, yeah, not the one they have, it's not Injil, Injil, wait, 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 wait. I'm using the Quran. I'm using the Quran. I'm using the Quran. He is throwing the Quran under the bus. I'm using the Quran. Throwing the Quran under the bus. Let me use the Quran. So I want to describe in I want to describe Torah. I want to describe Torah and Injil according to Quran, according to the Hadith, according to Islam. Yes, would you listen? Let me finish. Injil. It's not the Bible. Wait, wait, uh, well, let me finish. So what it is? According to Quran, uh. Injil has one author. Uh. The author is Allah. Uh. The Gospels and the Bible have four, more than 40 authors. Uh. Quran, uh. chapter 5, uh. verse 47. Okay. Quran, chapter 5, verse 44. Uh. Injil, uh. Prophet Muhammad is mentioned, is written in Injil. Uh. So, in the Injil, yeah, not the ones, that, the ones they have it. Allah said, Quran, chapter 5. Verse 157, Prophet Muhammad is mentioned in Injil and Torah. It's ah, written there. Say, so now, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Wait, wait. It's not the Bible. Let me finish. Why do you say that Muhammad is in the Bible? Liar! Oh, 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 oh. I didn't finish. She's running. She's running. She's running. Let me explain. Let me explain Torah and Injil. Let me explain Torah and Injil according to Quran. Wait, wait, wait. Injil. Don't ever say that. Okay. Muhammad is in the Bible. Let me. You're stupid, Muhammad. Sorry. Wait, wait. Okay. Let me respond. Let me respond. So no. So now. So now wait, wait, wait. First prophet wait, wait. in Torah, wait. Zabur, and wait, wait. wait. Yes. So, so now, Torah, let me let me describe Torah and Injil. Torah and Injil, the followers of Torah and Injil, according to Quran, were Muslims. Yes. Quran, so. chapter. Five, chapter oh, 5, chapter on. 3, come on. verse come on, come 52, on. Want to talk. the if disciples of Jesus no, were Muslims. Jesus, let me finish. Quran clearly tells us, cannot be mentioned in the Bible. Okay. Yes, yes, Do you want to discuss? So, Do you want to talk? So Do you want to talk to so me? Muslim, I remember I talked to you. Any Muslim, I remember I talked to you before. Eh? I remember you. I remember you. So now, so now, listen. Let me finish. Okay, okay. Let me finish. Quran, Allah told us, Injil and Torah, both of them were corrupted. Were corrupted. We are not saying. We are not saying. The whole Bible is corrupted. The Torah, the now they claim, the one they have it now, is got some verses from God. We allow that. But the New Testament is got nothing to do with God. That is a Clear. Because New Testament, there's no Muslim. single verse where all God Muslim, of the Bible Muslims speaks. Making this false the Old Testament, all the time. sometimes you find out God of the Bible is speaking. Muslims despite it's corrupted. Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 8. Quran also tells us the Bible, the Torah is corrupted. Quran chapter 2, verse 97. 
Quran chapter 3, verse 78. Also, the Torah in Jin is corrupted. The Allah said, Quran chapter 5, verse 13 to 15. Chapter 5, verse 17, verse 19. Chapter 5, verse 40 to 41. We know all that tells us, Allah told us, those books were corrupted. Christians always say, Muslims, they cherry pick the Bible, they choose the verse that suits them, and the verse that doesn't suit them, they don't choose it. Same Christians choose and cherry pick the verses of the Bible. Example, Matthew chapter 17, verse 21. Matthew chapter 18, verse 11. Matthew chapter 20 and 20, verse 16. Matthew chapter 23, verse 14. Matthew, Mark chapter 7, verse 16. Mark chapter 9, verse 46, verse 49. Verse 46, verse 49, or verse 44, and Mark chapter 11, verse 26, Mark chapter 15, verse 20, 28, the Gospel of Luke chapter 17, verse 36, the Gospel of Luke chapter 23, verse 17, the Gospel of John, 1 John 5, 7, John 5, 4, 1 Acts, the book of Acts, chapter um, chapter 8, verse 37, 37, Acts chapter 15, verse 34, Acts chapter 24, verse 1, and chapter, chapter 24, verse 7, Acts chapter 24, I mean 28, verse 29, Romans chapter 16, verse 24, all these verses, Christians disagree, they choose and cherry pick whichever verse they want to. The Torah again is corrupted. The, and the book of Numbers, chapter 21, verse 14. Number and Joshua, chapter, and the book of the words of Lord is missing from Torah, Old Testament. And, the, and, and Joshua, chapter 10, verse 13. The book of Joshua is missing from Old Testament. And the book of One Kings, and the book of the Acts of Solomon, chapter 1, and One Kings. One Kings, what's oh. happening? What's happening? Wait, 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 wait. One Kings chapter, listen. One Kings chapter 11, verse 41. The book of the God of the, the God of Seir, the book of Samuel the Seer, the book of Nathan the prophet. One Chronicles chapter 20, 29, verse 29. The book of Shemaiah, the book of Shemaiah, the two chronicles, chapter 12, verse 15, is missing. Also, the book of Jeho, Jeho and the two chronicles, chapter, chapter, and chapter 20, verse 34. All these books are missing from New Testament. Christians, if your God is all powerful, why He didn't look? after your books therefore your god is not powerful you try to say muslims god is not powerful because he failed to look after the and gospel and the torah and injil same question allah did not promise to look after torah and injil but he promised to look after what quran chapter 15 verse 9 also he did not promise to look after the torah previous books Quran chapter 5 verse 44 Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh